Minister Shen, I'm sorry. I know you did your best, Your Highness. But when it comes to competing with wealth, it's unlikely to win against Prince Yu. It appears that we are defeated once again, Your Highness. Worry not, Minister. It'll take a few days to do the overall arrangement. Let's think it over. Perhaps there's still a way. That is unlikely, Your Highness. I sincerely hope the skies would strike a lightning and let it be cast upon Prince Yu's head. What are you saying? Please forgive me. I mustn't say such things. Are you not feeling well again? <coughs> it's not a problem. It's been cold. Just an itchy throat. Since you're not feeling well, perhaps we should... No, please. I'm all right, really. It's just an itchy throat. <laughs> I'm aware of your highness's visit today. People already know about what happened in Wuying Hall. Commander Meng came by to tell me. Commander Meng was here? Well, he heard I was ill. I mean, uh, that my throat was itchy, so he came to check on me. <sighs> Even the commander knows while I... Please. You've been occupied lately. These matters shouldn't be very important. <sighs> I might be busy, but whenever I'm actually needed, I'm never there. However, it has been settled. Don't worry about it, since you're sick. It's not entirely settled. Father already assigned Prince Yu. What do you mean? Out of panic, Minister Shen had even wished for a lightning for it to strike Prince Yu's head. <laughs> he was not entirely incorrect. As long as I have your trust, give me just about two days, and there will be a thunder. That's prepared to strike. And certainly on Prince Yu's head. A lightning on its way? Has Master Su prepared something that is soon to happen? The five states suffering famine are not within Zhang Zhuo. I didn't get informed faster than the Ministry. And that is why I failed to plan ahead for you. That was my mistake. Wait. Now that you've said that, I feel embarrassed. I failed to prevail against Prince Yu in front of Father. That is why it has come to this. Your Highness, you're very honest when voicing out your opinions. That's why His Majesty sees Prince Yu as more thoughtful, and we can't do anything about that. You're clearly right about that. I don't know how to be like Prince Yu, nor do I want to. That is why I need you. His Majesty has always favored Prince Yu. His mind cannot change in such a short time. So for the time being, your highness must be patient. It's not about my patience, but mainly because I believe this matter is very urgent. <coughs> I was impatient. It's just my throat again. <coughs> Worry not, your highness. Even though we may be a step behind, I can say luck is still on our side. Something happened a few days ago that could be certainly used to our advantage. And this is the thunder that you speak of? Five days ago, an expert's team sending gifts to Prince Yu passed by Fuzhou. The Zhangzhou Alliance seized them. Yet I don't think losing a few loads of gifts will do much harm to him, don't you think? Perhaps you would see it another way once you found out who sent Prince Yu the gifts. Who is it? Yuejo's mayor. Yuejo? That place has suffered the most. I heard people starve to death. So how could the mayor extort money from the people for Prince Yu? Since the crown prince lost power, 
the local officials of Princeus' faction have all been holding onto him tightly. The gift was indeed generous. It was 5,000 tails of silver. That mission mustn't be handled by him. Now that we have the evidence, what do you intend to do? Is it a good idea to report this to Father? <coughs> Is it your throat? <coughs> no, not this time. It sounds like a bad idea. The Crown Prince and Prince you were always corrupt. His Majesty knows it. Yet it's clear he chooses to overlook it. In this case, if you decide to tell him about Yuicha's mayor, at most he will only scold him. But nothing will change after that. Apart from the Emperor, is there anyone else that controls Prince Yu? Other than His Majesty are the people and their trust. I have arranged it. In two days, I guarantee the issue will spread all over the streets of Yucho. 5,000 tails of silver may not be much value to the Emperor, but to the starving people of Yucho, that is utterly unacceptable. Once the people find out they'll be outraged, it will badly affect his pride which Father values most. When that happens, even if he favors Prince Yu, he won't allow him to disturb the Empire State. Both Prince Yu and the Crown Prince will handle the disaster relief riots through forceful suppression then blame people for being greedy. They'll say they demand and take advantage of the Imperial's kindness. But this time, the funds for that mission are untouched. So I would really like to see what excuse Prince you can come up with. <laughs> How dare they act before the court, handing out money to Yucho without my knowledge? Where did they come up with that money? Is this money being sent to you as gifts? State Council ordered to arrest them, yet local guards refused to follow the people who are crying for justice outside the Council! Huh? I was even sent a petition by the citizens. This isn't just coming from Yucho, but the news has spread all around and is already being discussed all over the capital, and everyone's accusing no one else but you! Just you! You're a disgrace to this empire. Your Majesty, I am innocent. I do not know why you had just Meiji would even send me gifts. He's never done that before. I am confused then. According to your highness, Yuejo's mayor has never sent gifts even in years when all was well. Yet the moment they were in trouble, when the whole of Yuejo had no yield, all of a sudden their mayor decided to do this at such a bad time. In that case, the mayor must be terribly confused. It makes me wonder how someone was even made to be mayor. <laughs> Normally, I let you receive gifts, but just as long as it wasn't excessive. But this year has been a disaster. Are you not capable of controlling yourself? Your Majesty, I'm not the only prince. How can you believe the hijacker's accusation that those gifts were really meant for me? I simply don't understand it! Your Majesty, please. I worry that those rumors may not be the truth, but to accuse Prince Yu... I spoke with the Ministry of Personnel and sent a request, ordering the Governor to investigate this matter further. This is the returned report. Please take a look. <sighs> this is the record of gifts and letters the Mayor has kept from previous years. Your Highness, do you wish to confirm if these are real? Your Majesty, enough! Stop talking. I had no plans of punishing you. Your Majesty! However, this incident can no longer change how people think of you. If I let you handle the disaster relief, it will be inappropriate. So from now on, you're no longer in charge. Your Majesty, I just wanted to what do- What more do you want? This year has been nothing but a disaster. I haven't had any peace at all. In just two more months before this year ends, I don't want any more trouble. 
Make sure you don't cause any more mayhem. Stop trying to do things that will humiliate the Empire! Because otherwise, I'll make sure you won't easily be forgiven as you are now. Yes. I'll keep that in mind. Now, summon Prince Jing. As you wish. Greetings, Your Highness. Your Highness. There you are. That's good. Go get me a drink. His Majesty told you to be quiet, and you really did. But how can being drunk at home help? It's been more than half a month since Prince Jing left. All people do is praise him. They say he's good in and out of the battlefield. Are you really letting him get away with it? What else can I do? Him and that sentry carry out orders every day. All new tactics that weren't used before. All father does is praise him all day. As well as the officials who would follow what he does. Everyone around him simply admires him. I still don't believe it. With that much power, how can he manage to resist all the temptations? <sighs> There's no such man who could be that pure. Even if he's able to resist the temptations, can he really stop people's means of making money? In the end, he'll kill a few people and get rid of the others. And for a while that may work for him, well, how long can he keep that up? It doesn't matter how Prince Jing did it, and no matter how long he'll keep this going. Right now, he's in control of the situation. Unfortunately, things have come to this. Aren't you even going to find a way to fight back? Fight back? How can I? Go on, teach me! Well, being stuck in here for days... I've already thought of the people I can possibly make use of. I realize that out of the six ministries, not a single one of them would take my orders. Shen Chui has no respect for me at all. And Tai Chuan, who the Ministry of Justice opposes me. Chief Secretary like Liu Cheng, <laughs> is nothing but a devious old fox. The chief officials do nothing and choose to remain silent. All I have on my side is the Grand Court of Review. So in this situation, how will I be able to fight back, huh? Whoever has the Kirin Scholar shall claim the throne. Lang Yahal's prophecy was indeed correct. Last autumn, just when Master Su first arrived. What was your state then? What about Prince Jing? Only a year has passed. Who do you think is on the Kirin Scholar's side? Don't you think it's obvious? Your Highness, haven't you ever suspected Mei Chang Su? When Jing Yan became a noble prince, I knew something wasn't right. However, Mei Chang Su really did my contributions. 
He was able to help get rid of Shi Yu, the Marquis of Ning. He successfully lifted a heavy burden. When Mei Chang Su got rid of Shi Yu, did you believe it did that for you? Yet Si Yu commands the capital patrols. Your Highness, take a look at what's in front of you. I just know that Prince Jing is the one who has Mei Chang Su. While we're in this state, do you need me to provide you with evidence? <coughs> When you think about it, Mei Cheng Su is quite clever. He's determined, decisive, bold in his choices. Both you and the Crown Prince were influential. That he chose Prince Jing has been casted aside for years. Without his assistance, how long would Prince Jing get to where he is now? The situation in the palace has changed. Noble Consort Yu lost power. Consort Qing promoted. For years she's been quiet, yet how did she get the Empress to notice her? After she was promoted, we didn't know how hard it was to fight them. That's right. Consort Jing. We underestimated her indeed. Mother has done what she possibly could. But nothing seems to do any real damage. It's not been at all easy to try to get rid of them both. I underestimated the two of them. I used to believe they were merely lambs, but they were actually wolves. Now you know they're wolves. Then what do you intend to do? Are you just going to admit defeat? Of course not. Shao Jing Yan may have acquired power, yet he has no foundation. If I manage to defeat the Crown Prince, then defeating the Prince of Fire Pearl should be nothing. Once the disaster relief mission is over, Prince Jing will gain another merit. I worry His Majesty will award him. If he gains two more pearls, it won't be long before he reaches the same rank as you. <coughs> I admire the passion you have for wanting to get rid of him. But Mei Chang Su is the real danger here. If we don't deal with him first in his Jiangsu alliance, then I'm afraid it won't be easy to defeat Prince Jing. Go against Mei Cheng Su and his Jiangsu alliance? That's not an easy task. Wasn't your Hongshu court severely compromised by them? My Hongshu court has fallen. I lost. That I admit. But that doesn't matter anymore. You mustn't allow that Kirin Scholar to ruin all the plans you've made. He used you and deceived you for so long. How can you allow someone to do such a thing? It appears... that you're trying to provoke me. <laughs> I know. I'm aware you want me to find a way to get rid of Mei Cheng Su. Because you want revenge for the Hong Shu court. I understand it perfectly. But when it comes to hate, I hate it more than you do. But I'm afraid the situation in the court has changed drastically. This is not just a matter of dealing with Mei Cheng Su, all right? What your highness is saying is... If this happened a year ago, Killing Mei Cheng Su would have been easier. Prince Jing would have no way of getting promoted. But unfortunately, my brother now mustn't be underestimated. He only appears to be alone, but he has stable support from the entire court. This doesn't just include Mei Cheng Su. So you're saying you plan to leave Mei Cheng Su alone? Of course not. Yet no matter how brilliant Mei Cheng Su is, in reality he's just a counselor. So instead of focusing solely on him, I think we should directly strike Prince Jing. With no master, he would be like an abandoned dog. 
And when that happens, what kind of divine talent would he be? Then, Your Highness, what do you plan to do? Plan with what? I'm unaware of Mei Cheng Su's weakness, but I do have a good idea that Xiao Jing Yan's weakness is. For more than ten years, Father neglected him. But what could the reason be? Because he's dumb? Incapable? Or did he make a mistake? Not at all. Conversely, he's had many achievements and contributions in war. Father just won't reward him. And the reason for that is all because of an old case that has been stuck between the father and his son. That's right. Prince Jing's weakness is the treason case of Prince Qi and the Qian army. And I have a very strong feeling that Mei Cheng Su is somehow also related to this case. And how so? I'm still not quite certain about it. But the more he becomes my enemy, the more I know how he thinks. I believe that every action Mei Cheng Su makes will have a reason for it. Now that Xiao Jing Yan is not in the capital, I have time to plan everything. For now, we will allow him to do his work. But when he returns, I'll make sure he sees it my way. Your Highness wishes to reopen old wounds. This sounds like a good plan indeed. Yet, we must be careful. Prince Jing mustn't notice a thing. We need to open it all at once. The bloodier, the better. For now, it sounds easy. But before we act, we must plan carefully. This old case is not only Prince Jing's weakness. It's also banned by father. It mustn't simply be brought up for no reason. If only we can find some sort of opportunity. An opportunity? I don't have much foresight. I can't see one yet. I am afraid I cannot help you with that. However, I can think of a good helper that may be useful to you. Who's that? Current director of Xuanjing Bureau, Xia Zheng. Even though the issue has been settled, as long as Xi Yu's letter is in the royal Liang princess's hands, I will keep having second thoughts. The Grand Princess is still the Grand Princess. You must be careful with her. Yes. Princess is here. Move the roadblock. I don't think that'll work. But why not? 
The Swenshing Bureau was created with principles. It never helped faction fights. And I've never heard of an exception. No matter how badly I fought with the Crown Prince in the past, Sha Zheng had never- The Xuanjing Bureau is part of the court, serving His Majesty. They're in the midst of politics. How can they be an exception? We can't see things only by how they appear. The Xuanjing Bureau had always enjoyed grace as well as power. That is why I don't believe that they're avoiding faction fights. But in the past, they- The past is the past. He didn't interfere with you and the Crown Prince. There is nothing strange about that. But now things are different. Your current enemy now is Prince Jing. I hope you didn't forget who was in charge of investigating the Qian treason case. His Majesty may have ordered it, but Xia Zheng's involvement in that case was indeed pivotal. Prince Jing will not let him get away so easily. Xia Zheng is no fool. He's fully aware how Prince Jing is connected to this case. To put it mildly, it's a knot in Prince Jing's heart. But bluntly, it's because of hatred. Xia Zheng will turn a blind eye on whoever becomes the heir. Except when that person is Prince Jing. No matter his loyalty, he'll be more likely to consider his own future. You're right, that is true. Xia Zheng can stand anybody. He does not care if the Crown Prince or I take the throne, but he certainly will not accept Prince Jing. Your Highness, just think of Xuan Jing Bure's power, and think how much this Majesty trusts Xia Jiang. So now, do you think he's the best option when dealing with Prince Jing? You're right about that, but even if you're right about that, he won't necessarily team up with me. What if he doesn't want us involved? If your highness wishes to probe to see if he's interested, then I can help with that. You? My master was Xia Zheng's dear old friend. Aren't you from the Hua tribe? Who was your master? Has your highness ever heard of Princess Shenji? You're the disciple of Princess Jin Xuan Shi and Hua tribe? Your Highness, Minister Huang wishes to see you. All right, send him then. Yes, my lady. Minister Huang, please come in. Greetings, Your Highness. At ease. It's chilly today. What brings you all the way here to the palace, Minister? I'm sure whatever matter, you can just send someone to come. You can't be serious, my lady. How can I allow... juniors to handle your lady's orders? Yet you yourself mentored all those children, Minister. Of course they'll do well. You flatter me, Your Highness. My lady, what kind of desserts are you trying to make there? <laughs> I have just picked up some camellia flowers, so I can make Taishi cakes. It's nothing new, really. Fresh camellia flowers still need to be selected, carefully peeled. It's actually very tedious work. You're the only one in the palace who has the craft to do it, my lady. It's just a common dessert. You flatter me, Minister Huang. Come now and bring it quickly, so your highness may finally look it over. <laughs> the weather is getting cold, so we get fewer fresh fruits from the south. My apologies for the inconvenience we've caused you. These are the new dried fruits and nuts. I know, your highness likes making desserts and will find these useful, so I purposefully picked ones with high quality for your highness to choose from. I haven't even finished the fruits that you have brought over last time. I merely make desserts only to pass the time. I don't need such an excessive amount. <sighs> the inner palace requires for us to provide you with such. Go ahead and take a look, my lady. You may keep whatever you may need and find useful. Very well. <laughs> this one. And this. Oh. 
Oh, and this one. The rest I won't be needing. Thank you for your kindness. You're welcome, your highness. Xiao Xin, please see them out. Yes, your highness. Please follow me. <laughs> your highness, I am getting quite old. The children lack experience and can be a little clumsy. They may not serve your highness well. If ever you will need me, please have the servants inform me directly. I will. I might have something to bother you with in the future. In advance, I'd like to thank you. You are most welcome. Your Highness, if that will be all, I will take my leave now. Your Highness, has the Imperial Household Department been offering bad hazelnuts? What makes you say that? In the past, you would make hazelnut pastries almost every day. But as of lately, when you were offered fruits and nuts, I noticed you'd rather choose something else. And that is why, I thought, the hazelnuts they'd bring weren't any good. Jingyan's taste has changed. For the meantime, I must make something new for him to eat. Here. Come on. Take the medicine. Hmm. Oh. oh. It's bitter. You drink it for Brother Sue, then. Uh, can I? You can. Hand it over. Don't listen to them. Medicine only works on whoever drinks it. Huh? You liar! <laughs> It'll take a while for it to take effect. Just sit for a while. But later you will need proper sleep. So don't sit for too long. I know. Hmm. All right. <sighs> Almost finished? Hmm. Did you know that when Prince Jing returns, you'll no longer have these desserts? I know. You told me before. <laughs> Prince Jing purposely left two boxes of those before leaving. Those desserts were meant for a long period of time. And yet it's still not enough for failure. <laughs> Chief, is something wrong with the boxes? You seem to look worried whenever Failure brings it here. When I was little, her Lady Consort Jing would make me desserts. I ate everything she made, every single dessert. There was only one I wasn't allowed to eat, hazelnut pastries. Just one small bite, I'll have difficulty breathing, and rashes all over my body. I'll throw everything up. Young Master Lin told us about it. That's why I check all the food, if it contains hazelnut. That's what worries me. I'm afraid. Consort Jing knows all about my real identity. But Chief, hazelnuts are rarely used in any dessert. It won't even be a surprise if Consort Jing wasn't making them. But what you don't know is that hazelnut pastries are Prince Jing's favorite. Consort Jing used to make them all the time. Because of this, I even had to ask Prince Jing questions to get information. <sighs> this box certainly has quite a lot of hand-picked desserts. Was this food box meant to be for you and given by Concert Jing herself? The two boxes are the same. There's no way I can be wrong. Oh. They're all the same. 
then that means Her Highness was afraid Prince Jing would hand you the wrong one. So she made the same desserts without any hazelnuts in it. Yet she hasn't even seen you personally. How could she be aware of who you really are? She must have found some clues in the book I lent to Prince Jing. But then... Why does Prince Jing still seem to act normal then? That's why I think... Consort Jing knows. She needs to keep this secret for me. It's so cloudy today, yet it's not heavily snowing. <laughs> it appears the plum flower blossomed well. Failure likes picking flowers from other people's gardens. I wonder who taught him that. Who else? We've not seen young Master Lin for a year. I do miss him. Whenever he went to Langjuo before, it was so much fun. <laughs> oh, Chief. Chief. Is it ready? Yes, it is. Chief, you're not well. Please let me go on your behalf. In the future, I will count on you to do so. But this is the first time. I must go on my own. Sir Shishan, Chief means to close Miao Yin Court for now. I do believe so too. According to the rules, there shall be no music during the state funeral. The Miao Yin Court can be open for business. It won't be convenient for us to communicate. The music store in the West has been open for half a year. It shouldn't attract attention. I think it's best to go there from now on. Yes, sir. That will be all. You may leave now. <laughs> Goodbye, Sir Shishan. Hmm? Uh... Is there anything else? Uh, Sir Shishan, my neighbor Jun Young. Has her identity been checked before? Oh. I've already sent a message in Shancho, and she spoke the truth. Newly widowed, disowned by her family. Because of the famine from her hometown, she shouldn't be a problem. Good to know. What do you mean? Uh, I mean it's good that she isn't a threat. Yes, but remember, she's still a stranger. It's still best to keep your distance from her. Yes, sir. Go on. Sue, it's gold out. What brings you here? Eugen, is Marquis Yan in? I have to speak with him. Yes, he is. Please come in. Brother Sue. I... What is it? <laughs> this reminds me of the time when you and I only just met for the first time. Only a year has passed. It hasn't been long, but many things have changed. It's sad to look back on those days. That's right. I wonder how Jingri is in Southern Chu. We've been writing letters to each other. He's doing well. Don't worry about him. Brother Sue, 
I don't know what you're going to discuss with my father, but whatever answer he may give, I'm certain he has his reasons for it. Please come in.